I want everybody to know that um, I quit serving God last night. I decided that's it. I've had enough. I'm tired of people talking about me. I'm tired of people putting me down. I'm, I'm tired of everything that can go wrong going wrong. And I think the straw that broke the camel's back was yesterday as I was preaching, having a panic attack in the pulpit. And I mean, I could go on and on about this year and the things that's happened and, and, and not seeing a whole lot of things going right in my life yet. I hear of people getting saved. I hear of other people being blessed. I hear of people saying they appreciate the ministry. And I've been hearing that for, for a long time now. And I, and I praise God for that. I give him the glory. But last night was it. I said, that's it. I'm done. And as I'm laying in the bed, the Spirit of the Lord come upon me. And God said, you haven't been stoned to death. You haven't been beat on your back. You haven't been shipwrecked. That nobody's come and took you away and locked you in prison. You haven't been burned at the stake for serving me and for standing for me. All the people that's gone before me, all the people that have served God that we talk about and, and, and we want to see real revival. We think of the ones like John Wesley who stood on, stood on tombstones and preached because churches wouldn't let him in their church to preach or, or Whitfield or some of the, some of the ones of the past and, and how they suffered and the things they went through. And yet when we get knocked down, or when I get knocked down, I want to quit. Maybe you do too. Maybe this video is, is for you. I, I'm, I want to help somebody today because I didn't quit. I wanted to quit. I said I quit. But God says, no, son, you're not quitting. So the Bible says a just man falls seven times and rises again. That means you're going to get knocked down. You're going to lose friends. People are going to turn on you. People are going to talk about you. People are going to get upset with you. Why? Because our battle, our war is not with them, but our battle is against spiritual. It's a spiritual battle. It's against principalities, wickedness in high places. It's not with carnality. It's not with the flesh we fight, but we fight with, with through the Spirit. We fight through prayer. We fight through the Word of God. And by standing for Christ, you're going to face adversity. You're going to be attacked. You're going to get knocked down. There's strongholds out there. There's strongholds in everybody. Just about everybody's got a stronghold in their life. If it's nothing but just our pride alone, but it's a stronghold. And God is wanting us to overcome this stuff, and we're going to get knocked down. You're going you're gonna to feel defeated. There's going to be times when you feel like you're wasting your time. And you're going to look around and you're going to say, you know, other people's got it made. Other people are doing so good. Why? Why am I going through this? And God's going to tell you. He's going to say, because I love you and I've called you. Because this is a time that I've appointed for you. You're a warrior. And what good is a warrior if he's not in the war? What good is it to be a fighter if you ain't got getting up and fighting? Pray for peace. At, praise God. Pray for peace. But prepare for battle because you're in it. You're in a fight. The enemy's come to give you a fight or get one from you. Either way, he's not going to let you stay. He's not going to let you hide out in the corner. He's coming for you. The Bible says he's an accuser of the brethren. When people talk about us and people accuse us, don't be mad with the people. Don't be upset with that person. Because it's not them that we fight against, but it's the evil one. The one that's speaking or using them people or using, sometimes he uses us because we, he gets on our, our emotions, our minds. He attacks our feelings. The Bible says he's a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. And I did a video a while back about how to defeat a roaring lion empty-handed. And I'll tell you again, it's just like Samson did in the vineyard. He stood there and a lion roared at him. He didn't grab his, a stick, a spear, a knife. He didn't pull out his glock. He didn't do any of this stuff that we would do or I would do. But he stood there empty-handed, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily, and he ripped that line to pieces. And you, I want you to know something. There is a sweet victory when the Spirit of God comes upon you, and you don't do anything. You don't fight back. You don't try to, get to, to fight flesh with flesh. But you let God handle it. You let the Spirit of the Lord lead and guide and direct you. Even if you can't see the way you're going, you just trust God, and you'll rip that line to pieces. And that sweet victory will be just like Samson when he come back by that dead lion's carcass. There was honey in that carcass. God even took something that the devil meant and tried to use to destroy him and made it for his good and to bless him. All things work together for the good to them that are called, to them that love Christ, to them that are called. Are you called? Has God called you? Have you been called in the service? Because I promise you, if you've been called, you've got an enemy that's right on your heels. And we can't, we can't stop. We can't lay down. A just man falls seven times and rises again. Get up. Get up and fight. Get up and realize the, the way we fight this battle 
It's not with our flesh. It's not with what normally we want to do. I, there's times I want to knock people out. Look, you're talking to, listen, I was a fighter. I'm an A-type personality. I'm not bragging. I, I can get knocked out, been knocked out. But you don't understand. I fight my flesh more than I put anybody else, but I believe, because I'm so stinking hard-headed and prideful. But there comes a time when God will weary us down and he'll get us to a humble place. And when we're ready to give up and quit, that's when God can actually speak to us and say, no, you're not going to quit. You're doing exactly what I've called you to do. You're where I want you. And finally, I've got your attention. Stand. Don't quit. Don't lay down. Get up. Fight again. Tell that devil you haven't heard the bell ring. When that bell rings, I'm going to be standing in glory. Hallelujah. He doesn't have a chance. He'll never stand in glory. He's going to be cast into hell. He's, he's already a doomed devil, a whipped devil. He was defeated over 2,000 years ago at the cross. God has placed us here for this time and this season to be a witness for Him. How do we, how do we fight this fight, warrior? How do you get up and fight? Get up off the mat. Quit laying down. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. The bell hadn't rung. How do you get up and fight? By telling someone today. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, hung on a cross and shed His blood to cover your sins and mine. And when He hung on that cross, you were on His mind. I was on His mind. All hell stood around. All hell tried to stop Him. He hung between heaven and hell and reunited us with God, made restitution for me with God, made me just before a holy God. God give me Christ's righteousness and I give Him my sin. And He placed it upon His Son at the cross. And he rose again the third day, overcoming death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. That's the victory. You've already won the fight. The bell hadn't rung. You've went down. You can go down 10 more times. You can go down 50 times. You can go down the rest of your life. Keep falling. But keep getting up. Why? Because it's not over. It's not over till the bell rings. And when the bell rings, it doesn't matter what the devil thinks he's done. The fight's already won. It was paid for. It was won. It was settled outside of Jerusalem on an old Rugged cross. Hallelujah. Tried to quit. In my mind, I did quit. God says, no, son. We're just getting started. Let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts, be acceptable in His sight. O oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen.